Hello guys and girls, um, welcome uh, to my channel. Um, today I'm here to install Windows 11 and uh, uh, on my ESXi hot 6.7. Now before I continue, um, I just uh, went to uh, download the, uh, the ISO image just from the Microsoft website. Uh, just go and download the ISO image which is just down here. You know, if you are using it on your physical computer, then obviously you can use the portable USB or DVD. Just download it from here. And now uh, the next part is so you have looked at the system requirements. The system requirement is the, uh, it's just right there. I'll share that link as well with you. Guys, it's one gigahertz or faster with the two or more cores. Uh, four uh, gigabytes is minimum RAM and 64 uh, GB storage. You need to have the secure boot. boot. TPM version 2.4. Uh, if you don't have it, you, you will get an error message. And then there will be a registry key that you guys need to uh, add it uh, in order to continue with install, uh, which I will be doing that in this video. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, now, I've just gone in here. I've, when, when I finished downloading the uh, ISO, I went to, to browse my uh, data store. And uh, yeah, I've just clicked on upload. And then I selected the image and I've just downloaded that image here. Beautiful. Now, I'll go right click. Uh, under my uh, virtual machines and I want to create a new virtual machine and I will give it a nice name uh, so simple enough Windows 11 PC 01 and we'll leave that on 6.7 and this will be a Windows and obviously 6.7 so it doesn't actually have Windows 11 here so Windows 10 64 bit is fine you, know, you need to tick this option and I'll leave that to my storage as a default. And yeah, so you guys can, uh, minimum is a two. So I'll, uh, I've got enough cores, so I can assign as the, uh, that eight is fine for me. But obviously you guys need to make sure that minimum is two or more. <coughs> Excuse me. And to, uh, with the RAM, uh, I've got enough RAM. So I'll uh, do it about eight is fine for me. And also what you guys can do is, if you are using on uh, ESXi host, you can actually enable uh, a CPU hot plug. So you can actually do that uh, anytime you like uh, without having to shut down the machine. And same thing with your memory. Uh, hard disk, I will go 64 was the minimum, but uh, let's just go with 80. And also I like to do it on thin provisioned. So that's all well and good. And CD-ROM, I will select the uh, image or ISO image for 11 from here. So I've just gone into the data store and just attach that image here and make sure it's connected. And also I want to make sure it's connect and power on. So make sure that option is ticked as well. Um, go to next and finish and it's ready to boot. So I'll click on that image and I'll go turn it on. Or oh, I'll turn this image to the uh, VM on and I press any key to boot from CD. Oops, I missed that, sorry. There we go. Now I will uh, be pausing videos a few times in here, but obviously because this installation otherwise will take forever. So yeah, as soon as uh, yeah, there is a yeah, bit of a yeah, um, delay, I will just pause that video. Uh, so now, before I click on install, because I know I don't have a TPM uh, version 2.0 so i will actually edit the registry key so which is uh some of you might, might have to press shift and f10 so that actually brings the, the command window and i will go reg edit and it is under the hatch key local machine system setup and if you right click on setup click on new it will be a new key and it is called lab config and once that's created within that folder i will create a d word value and it will call bypass tpm check now obviously if you are running uh, tpm version 2.0 you don't actually have to do these steps so and the another key I need bypass secure boot and make sure both of these value has one set as one 
Okay. Beautiful. So I'll close this and close out of the command prompt and I'll continue with the install. So uh, which I won't get any error message. You know, if you do without this, then you will actually get an error message that the uh, Windows 11 does not meet the minimum requirement. I don't have a key because this is just for the test. And I will select Windows 11 Pro. I'll hit next. And this should actually continue. And some of you guys might come up with an error message. Yeah, if you've tried without adding the registry key. And if you do come with that error message, then you'll just have to go back and edit the TPM uh, settings and continue. Okay. Yep. This is the drive. New apply that will create all the uh, required partitions. Beautiful. And next. And yeah. Uh, so this uh, start installing your Windows 10. Uh, I will uh, pause the. Uh, between this because this will uh, might take you some time so uh, I will pause this now okay um, you now it's still uh, still continue uh, it's uh, been about a couple of minutes yeah I just say uh, I hit about here uh, 91 percent then you'll be installing uh, features and updates here uh, before it finishes it so uh, I'll uh, continue to uh, uh, pause this okay so it's uh, finish uh, installing uh, all the features and updates. So yeah, now it's about to reboot. That was the uh, next window. Just so yeah, as soon as you finish installing, so it's just rebooting now. I'll uh, pause again. Okay, guys. So yeah, it was just taking a bit of time. So yeah, I've just paused it here, uh, and now I just uh, rebooted once again. Okay. Um... There we go, get the, uh, the logo happening. Beautiful, okay, there they go, select your uh, region. I'll leave that on uh, United States. Yep, that's my keyboard. Okay, so to uh, finish um, doing all the updates, and now after the reboot, it's now asking for uh, the name of your computer. So you can call it to whatever you like. Uh, workstation 11. Um, next. Just so you're rebooting again uh, after the uh, name change. Okay, how would you like to uh, set up this device? Now, obviously, if it's work router, you guys can select that. In my case, I will select personal use and I'll go next. And obviously, it's asking uh, for a uh, uh, login details, but I will go offline account at this stage. But if you have your Office 365, you guys can log in with your Office 365 account. And I will go skip this for now and enter your name. I will Call it honor and password. Give it a uh, password. Confirm security questions. Uh, I'll just call it whatever for the time being. One, two, three. Second question. One, two, three. Obviously, you guys don't need to select one, two, three. Oh, but obviously something more secure and this is just for the uh, test and I'll be deleting this here uh, VM once I've done so you guys select these uh, privacy settings however you like I'll leave that on default and I accept that and, uh, I'll just close this again okay it's just uh, saying this might take a few uh, minutes so yeah uh, I'll just leave that on that for a few minutes Okay, the last screen just changed to please keep your PC on and plugged in. So, almost there. Voila. There we go. Our Windows installation is completed. And to, uh, uh, we can uh, we just go into it and have a look. Uh, I like that. Uh, 
that you are just trying to run the uh, WinWork command and the uh, Windows 11. Voila, beautiful. Thank you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys will uh, like the uh, Windows C11 installation. And uh, please see, uh, subscribe and leave any comments uh, below. I will share the specs and the download link as well in my videos. Thank you guys. Enjoy. Goodbye.